this is a video about the pros and cons of roses. Um, specifically, I want to go old versus modern garden roses. Um, some pros of old garden roses is you have um, multi-formed multi blooms. Um, so you have cups and the teas have are leaning more toward the more modern-ish looking there's this hybrid perpetuals as well, but those all are a little bit more bald or cupped or whatever than modern is now. Um, they another pro is they come in different sizes. Um, depending on how big your yard is, you can consider a pro being that they sucker, so you could have a bigger bush or or even have uh, parts to dig up and give away. Um, another pro for Old Garden Rose is that they're, most of them in general are fairly fragrant. And um, another pro would be that they lend themselves toward putting in a vast variety of styles of gardening, cottage, um, if you want strictly rose garden bed um perennials other shrubs as well um another pro that i've noticed is that they have a tendency to be um somewhat more cold hardy than modern garden especially the um once bloomer roses some cons of old garden roses is that they can be hard to find in commerce um, another con would be, or could be considered as, um, being once bloomers. Me personally, I like the once bloomers more than, well, not more than, but I like the once bloomers. Um, I find that their once bloom is, allows for anticipation, uh, but some people can find that as a con. Another thing that could be considered a con would be the uh, lack of variety in color palette. Uh, a lot of them have a tendency to be purple, pink, uh, a little bit of white. Whereas the modern garden roses of Pro is that they have a wide variety where you could go from white to neon screaming orange if that's what you like. Um, and a... Another con some people could consider is um, the fact that there are a lot of old garden roses, especially if they're once, or not once, but uh, especially if they're own root roses, um, they sucker, so they spread out and grow bigger um, on an almost yearly basis. Another, or moving on to the modern garden roses, I pro for those are they have a tendency to um as a general umbrella term bloom more often than old garden roses do um like i said there's a wider variety of color palette um some cons of modern garden roses would be that they have the possibility likelihood of being less fragrant um in my gardens, I find that the modern garden roses have a tendency to be a bit more uh, disease-prone than the old garden roses. So that would be a con for modern garden and a pro for old. Um, another con would be that oftentimes modern garden roses are grafted, um, meaning that there's a possibility of root suck stock suckers taking over or possibly the graft dying in a colder region than what it's hardy to um and then you just wind up with a dead bush whereas a lot of old garden roses are generally now produced as own root roses um usually because people have that's how they got passed along um and that's how the com the people in commerce got them um it also is a fast can be a faster turnaround in production time by going on route and grafting, but not always. Um, I'm sure there's other pros and cons of old and modern garden roses. 
those are just a few. Um, I think ultimately the the deciding is that you, for what use that you want to use. Do you want to use it as a mixed border, meaning you're putting it with perennials and shrubs and other stuff, or are you wanting it to be in a dedicated rose garden? Modern garden roses have a tendency to lend themselves more toward that than old garden roses, but I have seen strictly old garden rose beds as well. Um, or, yeah, I guess rose beds. Um, also, I think ultimately color palette can play into your liking as well, um, as well as frequency of bloom. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for your time.